it, we are aware of members that have been uh, working with the UK Vaccines Task Force, uh, which is a grouping of, of businesses that was established to look at this whole, you know, how do you go from concept not only to regulated product, but manufactured and delivered to the patient product. You know, members like Cobra Biologics and Keel and Fujifilm Diacinth Biotechnologies and Billingham have both been involved in that. Another aspect we saw really was um, where we worked with the Medicines Discovery Catapult early on in the uh, pandemic, who were setting up the Lighthouse Lab at Alderley Park. And this is a lab that is one of two or three around the UK that's um, basically doing the COVID testing. And, uh, you know, and again, a massive logistical challenge to go from we don't have a COVID test to we want to do mass testing in a, a very short space of time. And when they were setting that up back at the start of the pandemic, we worked with the Medicines Discovery Catapult, who established that lab to ask our members to volunteer to staff the facility or you know even to donate PCR machines and other equipment and the response was absolutely amazing there was people loaning equipment worth literally hundreds of thousands of pounds and others putting their lab coats on and, and getting into the lab to help out earlier this week I saw that that lighthouse lab at Aldley Park is now processing a million tests a month that's just staggering and again the, the, imagine the, the logistical challenges around and not only staffing that, but getting the reagents there, getting the getting all the samples in, processed out, results out, and getting rid of the waste at the end of the day. It's just remarkable. So it's been great. It's been amazing what the sector's done and how it's stepped up.